leading urologist from India, shares about his education and experience. He has done more than 300 operations. He has worked in South Korea and has performed many laser prostatectomy operations in various countries. If it is a localized cancer prostate and you know it after your test that it's a localized cancer prostate, you could either go for an open prostatectomy, which is now going to be a thing of past. You could go for a laparoscopic radical prostatectomy or you could, the state of the art new thing is robotic assisted laparoscopic uh, uh, prostatectomy, which is being done by the Da Vinci system and probably more than 70% of the prostatectomy in the US currently are being done by the Da Vinci uh, uh, robot. So uh, this is the in thing and uh, it is more precise, the hospital stays less and uh, the surgery is definitely more advantageous. The urinary incontinence is involuntary leakage of urine without your knowledge or without your control and you cough and sneeze, the urine comes out or you have to rush to the toilet and you have, the urine comes out. You have to look into the specific causes of it. In males, mostly the urinary incontinence may be due to prostate problems or it may be a result of a prostatic surgery. And the initial ways to control urinary incontinence in males could be medication, certain exercises. But in case the urinary incontinence still persists to a, to a problematic you know, degree in the male, you have to resort to an artificial urine, uh, urinary sphincter implantation. In females, the urinary incontinence may be due to several reasons, due to multiple childbirths or trauma or uh, you know, it, uh, we call it a stress incontinence that if you cough and sneeze it leaks or you rush to the toilet, you cannot hold before you reach the toilet, that's overactive bladder or urge incontinence in women. We have got a variety of operations for that. There are certain slings which are made of plastic material which you can put beneath the urethra. It's a 20 minutes operation under local anesthesia and your urinary incontinence which is predominantly stressed urinary incontinence taken care of. In case there are certain uh, other uh, bigger reasons for urinary incontinence in women also, we can uh, put artificial sphincters. But in women, mostly we see that you know, the urinary incontinence is stress urinary incontinence which can be very well be taken care of by putting slings. We have slings for male urinary incontinence also, but as you know, in terms of its efficacy, the one-stop shop would be uh, an artificial uh, urinary sphincter that can be implanted. Uh, and, and the classical example would be a male who has undergone a prostatic surgery and especially uh, a, a prostate surgery for cancer prostate where he needs a urinary sphincter after the surgery. Penile implants are required for people who have failed the lesser medication. You must have heard of Viagra, which is a medication used for erectile dysfunction. So there, there is a lot of big population who has uh, erectile dysfunction uh, resulting out of diabetes or other cardiovascular diseases, uh, some, any vascular disease that could lead to uh, impotence or surgical interventions, for example, a, a radical prostatectomy for cancer prostate or maybe radiation or a surgery for bladder cancer which is called as uh, cystoprostatectomy. So there, there is a huge population of patients who suffer erectile dysfunction primarily because of medical problems and as a result of some surgical intervention also. So these, uh, uh, a good uh, chunk of these patients can be helped by medical means for example Viagra, tablets like Viagra, Cialis or uh, you know certain injections like Muse or Caverject and certain vacuum erection devices that are available in the market but there's a there's a good population of patients who are not helped by these uh, things so so then the next option is penile implant which is uh, in which we put there are several types of penile implants there are uh, two piece implants there are three piece implants and there is a sim simple rod like implant which can be inserted in the penis and the patient can hide it can it, he can bend the penis while he is wearing his trousers and when he is on the job he can simply straighten the penis and get on with it and uh, whereas in the three piece implants there are certain buttons which are hidden in his scrotum and uh, he can press the button and the penis uh, becomes erect he again presses the button and the penis goes down so this is how these implants work and the surgery is about an hour it is not a very, it's not a mutilating surgery it's a very simple surgery and uh, the the implants they come with a lifelong guarantee uh, and now i'm told that the guarantee is for about approximately 5 to 10 years but you do get a guarantee card any part of the mechanical dysfunction that goes on with the device is taken care of the the most important complications can be infection that can uh, necessitate even implant removal so we take all precautions to avoid that Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.